Hey folks, we start tonight with a quick reminder about this weekend's Hurricane Ready Expo. A chance to go learn everything you need to know to be prepared for the upcoming hurricane season. The Rio Grande Valley Hurricane Ready Expo, the second annual. It's Saturday from 10 to 3 in Westlaco, the STC Mid Valley Campus. You know where that is, just Google it. You can find it and look for the building. We'll all be there. RGVHurricane.com is the website. And the best thing about this event is it's free. It costs you nothing. You can go, you can learn a lot, pick up a lot of goodies, stuff that can help you prepare you and your family, your home, your business for the hurricane season, which starts in just a little over a month. In a hurricane, you get a lot more rain than this. This is the rain we saw last night, and you can see that almost everybody got something. The heaviest, uh, everybody missed right here, but the heaviest was right there, right down just to the north of Interstate 2 from Mission all the way down to about Westlaco. We'll go a little closer. The heaviest right there basically at the interchange in FAR, about 2.6 inches there, according to Doppler radar. Then you spread out from there, the numbers drop off. You get into Cameron County, kind of as expected. The stuff certainly weakened as it moved eastward, but the heaviest rain, the most persistent rain, was right there on the north side of FAR, so it came down pretty good. Today, nothing left but clouds. The rain is gone. Can't rule out a brief shower tonight, tomorrow. The little disturbance coming through will trigger clouds. You see a couple of green spots on there, but not much. Won't be the flavor of the day, but if you wash the car, that's when you get that one brief shower. Go into Saturday, same kind of thing. A lot of clouds around again on Saturday. Isolated showers possible again. That grow on 10%, 20%. And Sunday, even then, I think there's a possibility of a shower or two, but for the most part, it's a dry day. So yes, a chance the next few days, but not a big chance. These are the temperatures right now. We're at 74 here in Westlaco, 75 in Brownsville, a little warmer, 81 in Rio Grande City this afternoon. Overnight tonight, we'll drop back into the 60s. Every place but the beach, about 70 there. And tomorrow, we're back up in the low 80s again with upper 70s closer to the coast. So another mild day with clouds across pretty much the entire area. The normal high is 87. We won't get there, so we've got an unseasonably mild day. Same thing on Saturday, about the same. And Sunday, not much different, about 80 then. Look at the records, all up over 100 at the end of April. It can get pretty warm this time of year, but not happening this time around. These are the currents around Texas, a comfortable day, 76 in Austin. Dallas is 71, back west, Odessa at 85 this afternoon, and most of the state seeing sunshine. We're having clouds, but you get north of about, oh, Corpus Christi, not many clouds left. Another front, the panhandle will push southward and kind of fall apart as it gets close, but that'll reinforce the air mass that's here, keeping it from warming up over the weekend. Another front washes out long before it gets here, so we don't see another push of cool air anytime soon, but we do see isolated showers possible in the forecast over the next few days. Traveling, getting an early start of the weekend tomorrow. San Antonio is 59 in the morning. Dallas is 56, Houston as well. Most of the state rebounds at least into the 70s. A few places touching the 80 degree mark. So for tonight, a stray shower. We're talking isolated, less than 10% probably. Patchy late fog a possibility as well. Then tomorrow, partly sunny with an isolated or stray shower. I have about 80. Most areas stay dry tomorrow and most areas stay dry through the weekend, but a brief shower is possible in a few spots. Monday, a spotty shower is possible as well. Even into Tuesday, by the middle of next week, we're back in the 90s again. So back not just to normal, but to above normal. That is your updated Force 5 forecast.